less reproducing the work, more evoking the spirit of what he was looking at, of what he was seeing. What inspired him, what inspired him to um, journey to Margate, for example, in the first place, which was, uh, f which was and still is, obviously that, that's not changed, famous for its light and famous for its um, wonderful sunrises, etc. Yeah. So it, it was evoking what drove him, in a way, drove us. And uh, I certainly tried to evoke that spirit. Of, of, and there was a, there's a lot of it where we're looking through his eyes, across his shoulder, in terms of camera. You know, it's, it's one thing's lighting, but another thing is where we put the camera, because that's almost more important in one of Mike's films than anything else, is where do you see it from? A lot of the vantage points in the film are looking from Turner to what he's observing. So that's uh, kind of how we We studied yes. um, together, Mike and I, most everything we shot and decided when we were going to be there at what time of the day. We were blessed with wonderful weather last year when we photographed the film, when we shot it. Uh, this fantastic summer. So we did, you know, we wanted to be, it's like in Margate, we were one way and then we were the other way, and that way we were in the morning, and this way we were in the afternoon. We really, really tried to uh, capture the best light, interiors as well, obviously interiors as well. Like in Margate, out of Mrs. Booth's window in the house she lived in, a lot of people would come up to me and say, uh, that CG, right? That's uh, outside the windows. The hell it is. I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> it never is on one of Mike's films. That house was inside, outside, upstairs, downstairs, night and day. And what Mrs. Booth had behind her when she was in the, uh, that room or when Tim was eating his supper was the view out the window at, at the right time of the day. I studied Turner's palette quite a lot at the Tate Britain where they've got a fantastic resource for everything Turner, Turner-esque, the, the, the material, is color, yeah. the, the, the paints are used, and we took that, and um, in a way, the film is colored, the colorization of the film is very much in the palette of what Turner um, was using at the time. So we introduced um, teal, you know, actually says it in the film, so did his father, when the father was buying the paints, we kind of used the, the paints that he was buying in that colour shop as our own palette. 